Thanks for joining us today on Cece and Doc Talk, where we talk about everything under the sun. You never know quite what you're going to get, but you'll always be entertained. Welcome to CC and Doc Talk. And I had an, an amazing surprise. I thought I was going to have this little thing on my to-do list, clean up my contacts, right? The contacts on my phone, all the people I've met over the years. And, you know, plus, you know, Apple, for some reason, decides to double them and quadruple them. And then they got imported and exported. And I don't know. I think I had nothing short of at least 10,000 contacts. And I thought, okay, so let me just merge the duplicates. Days later... Wait I, a minute. You... you, you you forgot to mention that you you all of these contacts or half of them come from your work life which you're now no longer doing right and and the technology between work and your iPhone just didn't cooperate no okay and so Sorry. a lot of the stuff just kind of got imported from various contacts over the year whether it was from Wells Fargo US Bank Inside Out Discovery the various things and and so here's a little mirror into my past 20 some years I guess that's when you started you know getting contacts on your phone right um, and so you know imagine this you know each week you get on maybe four airplanes and uh you know because you have to do the leg and the jump and whatever or two trips and so you know yeah i'm, I'm on an airplane and apparently i have never met a stranger and <laughs> so everybody uh, knows that about you that's not a new thing did that surprise you? so i have all these contacts in there of met you know in in first class on my way here met in coach met on the way to going to cancun on the way to new york met here met there there was one that threw me off that it's like met this person at the bar with Billy. I don't even know who Billy is to know who the person was. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then there's all these Billy associations. Must have been that, Billy must have been that person you were having an affair with because I don't think I either guess. of us know a Billy. But. That was a quick one then. It must, have been, it must have been the part of the Mile High Club because I don't even remember Billy. Oh my gosh. And then, you know, just going through... And then you're finding all this stuff that it's like, and then the conferences that you go to, whether it's AMA or CAM or PPI and all these stuff. And so, you know, met at CAM, met at PPI, met at this. And it has the year, 2014, 2007, all these years, all the way back. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I come up with names like Kanichi or KPZZ. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I have no idea who any of these people are now it was there were some cool ones that i came across you know and you know there's you know the easy like a nine news wall street journal Blo um, bloomberg um new york times you know some of those contacts and i'm like oh maybe i'll keep those in there because that's kind of cool you know, but then <laughs> in I case have... we ever need a contact to right. launch our podcast into the stratosphere right right yeah because that'll happen soon Mm -hmm. Hang out for that one. Yeah. Yeah, just wait for it. <laughs> and then there were some really cool ones, like the Office of Inspector, the U.S. Agency for International Development. Huh? Again, must have been part of Billy or something. <laughs> or US... Well, that's it. Maybe Billy was an acronym. I, I don't know. Then there was the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, another person, uh, Office of Regulatory FDA, St. Mary's University of Minnesota, uh, Catering Director for the Mount Vernon Community College. I'm like, huh? I I mean, I know I did a lot of travel, but you'd think that I remember some of these, but I don't know, it's, this, is, well, this is just a mirror that makes me go, wow. Well, and cool. then you, you, called me, you called me out today just to read me a portion of the Ks, and you're like, what the hell? And I said, what part of this surprises you? Like, first of all, you, you know, you were in the working world for a quarter of a century yeah. or more, um, and you've never met a stranger and you've never met a stranger and you've never met a stranger. So what right. part of this surprises you? Yeah. And so the people that I've met at restaurants, I'm like, oh yeah, let me grab your number. We'll stay in touch or whatever it is. I mean, what the heck is wrong with me? Who was <laughs> I over all those years, you know? And then you then there's the glimpse into the work world because I mean, all the contacts all the way back to 98 from Wells Fargo and all the managers and all the learning and development people and the teams. And and then you get into the work side of it. You know, Most of them weren't even there anymore. I know. 
And then there you get into the whole, you know, here's UPS, here's FedEx, here's, here are, um, you know, some of the, you know, then there's the, uh, Staples and Office Max and, and here's all your access codes to get into these things. Oh, but the funny one was you listed off like, like, like 20 different pizza places from all the different places we've lived, including Mexico. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, then you get to the <laughs> restaurants I, and uh, there's another one that says, you know, met this person at, at Jan's theater. They have the RV bus. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Well, that's a good one to keep around for so many years. Sadly, I should admit that the ones of those that are labeled are probably ones that I entered into contacts and then sent you the contact because I used to label them because it became really challenging to, to keep remember. track of all you know, the Yeah, when you look in met. there and literally I would have like 50 different Jans. Yeah. Jan and then Janet. And then, you know, then, then there's Pat and there's Patsy and then the multiple versions of it. And then there's Pat and Patrick's. And then there's Christy and Kristen's and the Chris and the, and so, and then the Chris's and the Christine's and they're in there every different way and including misspellings and then the right spelling so that they didn't, they didn't merge. So back to the pizza thing, you know, so, okay, you're flying in somewhere, you're going to a hotel, you're going to a restaurant, right? So you make a reservation or you call ahead to see if there's availability. So I have restaurants in there galore, anywhere from Manny's to Hell's Kitchen to all the pizza places. And I saw, I mean, there were, you know, just not your, just your, your Domino's and the standard ones, but then there's all the different locations that we lived. So there was Messino's up in Denver and in, uh, in Mexico, we had Oscar's Pizza and Mike's Pizza. And, and in Pueblo, there was Angelo's, Angelo's pizza. pizza and there was another extreme pizza. And so mm -hmm. like, and so I'm just like, oh my gosh, I love pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always say we love you. More, I love you more than pizza. I, I mean, more than that pizza. explains that. Yeah. And so here's some other things, you know, again, you know, is Kinko's still around anymore? I mean, it's, it's FedEx, FedEx Kinko's, but it's FedEx. It, it finally yeah, went to just even, FedEx. It is it even FedEx Kinko's? I'm like, so I guess I don't need that one. And then... You know how many projects and contractors we've needed at all the different places that we've lived over the years? Yes, because so you're a there's, project girl. So there's Home Depot, but I have various ones labeled. They're all over. Oh, I know. You know, Home Depot North, Home Depot North, South, and then Lowe's North, Lowe's South. Do you know and how I got Ace Hardware, and then I have yeah. Big R. I got Big R in Levada, Big R in, in Salida, Big R in Pueblo. And I'm like, oh my goodness. All the tiny little places because there's not a Home Depot nearby. Do you know how many yeah. post offices we have in our contacts because of all the places we've Lived. I know, and some of these I can't even clean up because I don't like, oh, should I touch these or not? And then if they have some sort of a clue to our code to something, and I'm just like, oh, I can't touch that. So now that everybody understands your obsession with collecting contacts and apparently friends all over the globe, yeah. what were your insights from this content? And you're still only on like, you've been oh, at this for days. You're I made it to oh. Oscar's Pizza. Oh, you're on, oh. <laughs> So, oh. so what are your insights, Little Miss Social Oh, wait, I'm not done about... Here's a funny, Kubota tractor. Yeah. Kubota tractor. I'm like, was I buying, selling, looking at it? What the heck was the Kubota tractor? I think we were looking tractor? at that for here. And then that goes to then all the buy selling, right? So then there's the buyers for the homes, the sellers for the homes, the realtors. And there was some that were really <laughs> cool that they had realtor and it said, no, realtor, pushy. <laughs> this is the pushy one. Realtor. realtor. Fuck no. <laughs> Realtor is like pushy one. Realtor, no, don't hire. You know, and um, and then possible that was buyer. probably also my labeling. <laughs> that was kind of fun, you know. Um, and then a bunch of recruiters, and then Airbnb and KOAs. Oh, and then the campgrounds, the various campgrounds and stuff that we would stay at. You know, here's this KOA here and that campground there and, well, and whatever else. I'll get you back. And there still was a, just because I, I'm still just taken back by And there was a time, this. and I'm sure you have contacts that go back this far. There was a time when our smartphones weren't as smart as they are now. And we didn't have yeah. notes apps and we didn't have calendar apps and we didn't have all that stuff. So any information that you needed to save, we put into a contact, right? right? Like at one point, I remember like way back in the day we used to put passwords into contacts because yes. that was that was the only way we could keep track of that we they aren't there anymore just for those of you on the on the dark interwebs we no longer keep our contacts yeah in there, fact so i remember doing a search for the main con for our password years ago and pulling them all out of there once yeah. we once the once, once the clouds to, yeah yeah because you know it's you know, we didn't have method. clouds back in the day it was just yeah. sunny all the time right yeah um you know and then code <laughs> 
our, and then the funny. number of vets. Oh, for our cup. Our oh cats. my gosh, our Coda. little kitty cat. And there, you know, I think there was nothing short of 50 vets in there. And then there's Coda's eye doctor number one, Coda's eye doctor number two, Coda's heart per, you know, heart doctor, and the vet for this and the vet for and that, all of the her various pet locations over and the, the years. pet sitters. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Well, she did live for 20 years. I mean, hello. And she moved around a lot. Yeah, that's right. Well, we moved Oh, her. my gosh. That was fun. And then, of course, all the department stores. Some, you know, from Kohl's to Macy's to Best Buy. You know, all of those are in there because you have a membership number that had to go in. And, and the memberships, right? How many hotels <laughs> and car rental places do we have membership? And, and airlines do we have membership numbers, too? Holy cow. So while oh. I hate to... I'm well, I hate to disturb your trip down memory lane in, in the spirit of time. Oh, wait, wait. I have more. See, because there's more. <laughs> How about the designers and the kitchen designers from the glass doors and the countertops and the, and the shower things? You, know, you do glass like the to showers, remodel. And the concrete people and the handyman to the electricians. Do you know how many electricians and plumbers I had in there? You do like and to And then remodel. Craigslist, buyers and sellers from everything. Buyer for the bike, a buyer for the wetsuit. All right. So what does this come down to? The biggest thing that, that really stood out to me was I came across... Uh, quite a few people that had passed over the years and it just died hit, deceased, it, yeah, passed. deceased passed yeah. um died of a variety of reasons you know and yeah. every one of them it just kind of hit me right in the heart and it just made me pause for a moment and go wow why am i spending my time cleaning up these contacts it's a waste <laughs> of time <laughs> Anyhow, my lesson learned. So now you've spent days cleaning up these contacts and you've come across all of these people. I'm relatively have... certain I'm going to be looking for you and you won't be in my contacts. Not you sitting across <laughs> from me, but you listening here. If I can't find you anymore, it's because I did some cleanup. Anyhow. Um, so you're I learning in advice is this was a waste of time because you should be out doing stuff because you never know when you, when, you know, your time might be short. I think it's bigger a reflection of who you are. What is it that 20 years from now that when you're going to be going through that's going to be a reflection of who you are, you know? And, I don't know. And what did you learn about yourself today? Oh my goodness, my life was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could have told you that. <laughs> wow. I have more friends and acquaintances that I don't even know who they are than time. Yeah. We have always been blessed with more friends than time. Always. So what do your contacts look like? Uh, and I who do you want to stay in contact with? That was maybe the biggest thing is there were a lot of people I'm like, yeah, I'm just so blessed to have that person still in my life. There's so many people, the colleagues along the way that were fleeting, uh, you know, a point in time in your life. But, you know, the friends for a reason and friends for a season and, really and then friends out. forever and the friends that you choose as your family. And... Yeah, those are the friends for a reason. They, they stick with you forever, but they take effort on both people's part. Yeah. And they're the people that you connect with at that deeper level. And it's okay to let the friends for a season, let them have that season and move on and not try to... In other words, let them go. Let them go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good insight on your part. And, and the... That. I could call every one on my list, but I mean, like, for what? I this still contend, though, that for my me? absolute favorite friends in the world are those that, you know, we the, their contact sits in my phone, and it sits in my phone, and it sits in my phone, and I never use it. And then all of a sudden, one day, I use it, or they use mine, and it's like we never, it, it's like years had never passed. We were, it's oh, just oh. like it was yesterday. And so yeah. those are my favorite kind of friends, the friends that don't, that don't give you shit, for not calling or texting or connecting you just pick up where all you left the time, off. but yeah. they're just grateful when they hear from you. And just so that our friends know, that's how we are too. Like we don't mind. We we understand that life is busy, it's busy. and we are super grateful and get warm and fuzzies when we hear from you. But if we don't, we totally understand that you got shit to do, right? And why did I do this? I have. To, I'm sharing this because for. Many years now, you would go to uh, grab my phone. I'm driving. You grab my phone to make a phone call, and you're like, oh, my goodness, your contacts are a mess. You've got to clean these up. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Years later, I finally did what you asked me to, and oh, my, my, my. Yeah. Well, and you know what that means? What? Really exciting news for you now. You can actually say, and I won't say it right now because otherwise my my phone will, will go off, but I can say, you can say, hey, S-word, 
and you can say call XYZ person. Oh, and it might have a clue who I'm talking about. And it will call them you because before they were like, would you like to call, would you like to call Cindy call number Billy. one, Cindy number two, Cindy number three, Cindy number 59 or Cindy number 75. You're still in there many times because I have to figure out how to merge all of them. But yes, I'm going to call Billy by the way. Yeah. And did you ever find a Billy in your contact? No, there's no Billy in my contact. <laughs> all right. It's got to be an acronym for something. I guess we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. And if we figure it out, we'll let you know. In the meantime, <laughs> have a wonderful, wonderful day. And, and call don't waste, a friend. don't, yeah, call a friend, but don't waste time cleaning out your contacts. Oh my. <laughs>